And the last thing I provide for you on page um, nine is your risk assessment. And this isn't a uh, list that shouldn't be added upon. I'm just giving you some different things to look at about your course. Your course may already have assessed it, more risks than I have listed. Um, but just know, you know, know your course. Know how much your trees are going to grow every year, how much, uh, you know, temperatures are going to swing throughout the, the year. Um, there's lots of things to know about your course because when a patron comes in or a participant comes in and collides with some obstacle, you're at fault. I guarantee you're at fault. And if you haven't done everything possible and it's some act of God, you're not going to get out of it. You're going to be paying your premiums for five more years. Uh, some courses sadly don't listen and they'll, they'll pay a premium and they'll just be getting to that point where, where they're going to get out from underneath that umbrella that's been placed over them because they've had one accident. Well, and then they get in another accident. I mean, if it was me and I was an insurance company, I wouldn't insure them and it, because they're reckless and they're just causing more people to be injured. And same with a uh, course owner. If a course owner uh, or a builder was out there recklessly doing things, uh, I have several builders that I've seen that have uh, uh, been in lawsuits and they should be taken out in my opinion, because if they're not doing something to make that industry safer and they're making it worse on everybody out there trying to get insurance. My insurance itself went from $12,000 of a quote, I believe it was in 2019 to a 2021 quote in, for $20,000. Um, I don't understand that, you know, other than the fact that we have a lot of people that's making a lot of mistakes in training, testing, uh, understanding their course, whatever it is, know your risks. Uh, I've left some uh, appendices. These are for your, these are suggestions only. Follow the standards. You can follow my manual as far as you can, but the standards are going to rule. Uh, I try to incorporate standards into my manual. I try to tell you that you need to have warning signs and that you need to document and you need to keep it for 20 years, but I can't always be there. I'm trying to do this in a short amount of time with a short manual with a top quality, service proven zipline trolley and springs. And I hope ziplining is safe in your area. God bless.